If you enjoy my videos, like, comment, and consider subscribing. Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to Crochet Bits and Knits. In today's tutorial, we're going to make this really interesting stitch, uh, really good for like a scarf or a shawl. Um, this is, I used a really thin yarn here just to see how it would look. Um, it looks nice. Uh, I think this stitch will look better with a thicker yarn. So here I'm using a number four yarn with my six millimeter hook. And to begin, we will make a slip knot. And we're going to chain in multiples of three plus two. Right, so I just chained 14 for this sample swatch. And the first thing we're going to do is skip the first three chains and double crochet into that third chain. And we're just going to double crochet into each stitch along until the end of the row. So this is just like a base row. So go ahead and make your double crochets all the way to the end of the row. All right, so I'm on my last chain here. I'll make my double crochet. So from here, we're gonna chain three and we're going to be doing that at the end of each and every row, always chaining three. We'll turn and for row two, we're going to skip the first stitch and we're going to work into the second stitch and we're going to make three double crochets into the same stitch. Next, we'll skip two stitches and we'll work into the next stitch, making three double crochets. Again, we'll skip two and work into the next stitch, making three double crochets. So you're just going to repeat this all the way across. Skip two, work into this next stitch, make three double crochets. And in this turning chain from the row below, we're going to put a double crochet right at the top of that turning chain. Chain three and turn. So this row is going to start your repeat. So those first two rows are just the base rows and this next row is what you'll repeat for the rest of the pattern. So first we'll make a back post double crochet. And if you see these three double crochets from the row below. We're going to go into the middle double crochet with a back post double crochet. So if you're not familiar with a back post double crochet, all you're going to do is go in from behind your work and come into the right of that stitch that you want to go into, which is the middle one, and then go over top of it and behind so if you turn your work around, the stitch is on your hook. Just yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Really easy. We're going to do that again into that middle stitch. We're making a back post double crochet. Two, and we'll make a third one. Okay. Next, we're going to move over to this next cluster of three, and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to make three back post double crochets around that middle stitch. Okay, so you can see it makes almost like a wavy kind of effect here. Again, we're just going to do that again, making three back post double crochets. 
right around that middle stitch. All the way to the end of the row. And then once you did your last um, cluster, you made it your last cluster in that middle stitch, you have your turning chain from the row below. And we're just going to put one double crochet at the top of that turning chain. Okay, so really that is it for this stitch. You have your two base rows and then your repeat row. And you can see it has like this kind of cool wavy effect to it. Um, this would be really nice for a scarf or a shawl. Again, I think it looks better in a thicker yarn like this. But again, if you want to do a thin yarn, it's going to come out looking something like this. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.